Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video guys is going to be showing you what I picked up in Vegas. So I didn't actually go crazy, I was, I'd like to say I was quite good but actually to be honest I tried really hard to shop but I actually just didn't find too too much that I was after which is odd you know because Vegas is just shopaholics heaven however I tried but I you know I picked up a few bits I'm not gonna lie but I will explain a little bit more as we go through the unboxings but I've got a few bits that I picked up from Sephora you cannot go to the States without buying something from Sephora I got a beautiful dress from Alice and Olivia and a little unboxing to do from Louis Vuitton now it is my first ever purchase from Louis Vuitton so I'm looking forward to unboxing that with you guys now we're gonna do that one last because I'm gonna make you wait till the very end of the video but I'm gonna show you my Sephora bits and pieces that I got first so I got a few bits from Sephora the first one is the Brazilian bum bum cream now I have raved on about this so much on this channel already this is the moisturizer of all moisturizers it is delicious it smells incredible it soaks into your skin you feel nourished you feel moisturized I can't speak highly enough of this moisturizer I love 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 it and I saw it over in Sephora and I saw that it was cheaper it is one of those things that is cheaper to buy in the States than it is in the UK I think in the UK this is about 45 pounds I believe for a um, tub of and I think it was about 35 36 pounds that I paid for it in the States so worth picking that up for sure and I will make use and love this so so much the next thing from Sephora I picked up, well I've got another three things, that's actually, these bits are part of this but I will explain that in a moment. The next thing that I picked up was from NARS, now it is a, well I think it's a cheek colour, it is, it's a cream blush, really lovely colouring there, so really nice cream blush colour, um, but just think that's going to look so so pretty on it's almost got a slight gold shimmer to it so i think it will almost have that sort of highlight effect as well it is in the shade orgasm um and i also think that i will be able to wear this on my lips i think it will be one of those things that you can pop onto your cheeks and then pop as a bit of color onto your lips as well so i'm really looking forward to trying that out which actually all of these products from um sephora i will probably do a little makeup look with them in the next vlog so be sure to keep an eye out for that um, the next thing that i picked up was from gucci um, it is a gucci lip color i'm not gonna lie i was first drawn to the beautiful gold packaging before i actually looked at the colors i mean how lovely is that i'm not sure you can pick up how intricate the detailing is on the actual case itself it's very very pretty and i have gone for a nice red shade now i haven't worn red lipstick in quite a while and i think it's really important to get the right shade of red to your skin tone because otherwise i think it can end up making your teeth look a little bit yellow in some cases and can make you look too pale and things like that so it is important to experiment and find the right tone for your skin um, for sure so I popped this on my hand and I did really really like the colouring it has got almost a little bit of a goldy tone to it as well so I think that will look very very nice on the colour for reference is ruby oh i've got a little doggy joining me so it is yeah ruby color for reference but again i'll go through a little bit more in detail when i do the makeup look with you in the next video and you'll be able to actually see it on my face and then the last thing that i picked up was an eye palette now this is one where you could make up the colors yourself so you could pick four colors which is why i have the packaging of the four individual ones so i can just tell you their names of them um and i went for some really nice kind of greeny turquoisey shades here which I just absolutely love and not really tried as an eye colour before so I'm looking forward to giving those a go a really sort of nice neutral gold tone and sort of a earthy Ooh. red tone there as well yes my darling would you like to be in the video is that what you're after 
yeah so the colors are hold on i've got them all written down here so red earth which is the ready color that i just spoke about um metal is the goldy color at the top there i think it's got kind of gold and sort of metal sort of dark undertones to it as well which would be quite interesting to see how that looks on the eye um, and then we have got dragonfly which is the darker turquoisey color here and then the last one is venice which is the lighter turquoise color there so i'm really really looking forward to trying all of those out so those are the bits that i picked up from sephora now coming into my dress from Alice and Olivia. Now this is actually a present for my lovely husband because it is my birthday at the end of the month and so he treated me to this dress and I love it so much. I was going with full intent of buying it myself and he surprised me by getting his card out of the till which was very, very nice of him. Now Alice and Olivia is a brand that is worth buying if you are in the States because it is an American brand. I believe it was founded in New York so it is an American brand and it does work out to be cheaper to buy this in the States. I will link it down below because you can get it um, I believe on the Harrods website and the Harvey Nichols website so you can get it in the UK. Um, I will leave it linked down below but you will pay a little bit more than what you will do if you're in the States. However it's still cheaper than buying you know an airplane ticket. So um, right let's get into the dress. This you're gonna love this. This is what I would say, me in a dress. I'm just watching Betty because she is just wandering around by the tripod there. So if you suddenly start shaking, it's because she's having a good old time there. Right, this dress. Oh, look at it. It is beautiful. Okay, so it's a beautiful, beautiful high neck. It's buttoned up. Um, we haven't done the buttons back up after I tried it on, but let me just show you. So there you go. It's buttoned all the way up to the top, a really beautiful frill neck detailing, gorgeous, gorgeous puff sleeves, and then down into a cinched cuff. I mean, look at that puff sleeve. Look at that pattern as well, guys. How stunning is that? So it's a really lovely fit and flare dress and it has of course a really lovely belt to cinch in at the waist and do a gorgeous gorgeous bow with as well i will pop some try on clips on screen so that you can see them now but i just adore this dress i love the colorings and i actually think the colorings inspired the purchase of the eye palette because how lovely is that going to look together so yeah i just think it's beautiful beautiful dress and i cannot wait to wear it i actually think um i'm going to wear it on my birthday night out as its first outing it's not my birthday until the end of march but um i think i might save it for that because it is beautiful perfect birthday dress in my opinion okay moving on for the grand event the Louis of the Tom opening so what I would say is if you are going to the States do not buy Louis Vuitton in the States because you will pay more for it when you are in the States unfortunately you cannot claim the tax back or anything like that um, with being out of the EU now, if, um, if us people from the UK go to European countries, like when I went to Ibiza, I picked up a Bulgari bag, I was able to claim the tax back at the airport, which is a big bonus, big, big bonus. Um, so it meant that it was actually cheaper than buying it in the UK. Now, in America, the prices are pretty much like for like, hello baby girl, um, on designer goods. They're pretty much like for like, but what you will get is stung for the tax at the till, which I often forget about on my first purchase in America because I think, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's this much money, you know, it says this on the ticket, and then you go up to the till and it's more than what the ticket price says because they add their tax on. And the tax in Vegas is fairly high, it's 8 point something percent, 8.1 or 8.2 percent, so it is quite a high tax as regards to different states in America. Sorry, Betty's crying at me, I'll be two seconds. Hello. You're gonna curl up on me. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. I missed you when I was away. I missed you. I missed you. Yeah, I did. Think you missed me too. Think you missed me too. 
Okay, she's probably gonna start crying at the door in a moment, so I'm gonna get this done. <laughs> so, getting into the box. Oh, it's a very nice box, I have to say. It's very well packaged, really lovely. Blue ribbon there as well, so looking good. The box is ever so slightly damaged, but that was me bringing it home, so that was not Louis Vuitton. Right, so getting in to the box itself. If you watched my 2020, if you watched my 2022, there we go, wish list video, you will know what is in this box already because I picked up the only Louis Vuitton item that was on that wish list. So, opening the box out, and we have a couple of really beautiful dust bags there because I bought myself some boots. So, let me just pop that down and I will show you the boots. Very nice little dust bags, they're very cute. Always like it when you get one per shoe as well. I think you don't, we probably don't need it, but it's always quite nice to get one for each shoe. Okay, so they are the Silhouette Ankle Boots in black with the embossed detailing on here. So they are the Sock Boots version, which I think are super duper flattering but they have got the embossed Louis Vuitton logo there as you can see the um, patterning and then we have got the actual sort of Louis Vuitton pattern on the heel which is really quite a nice touch to Louis Vuitton without it being splashed all over it. I have to say I really do like Louis Vuitton but I'm not a huge fan of their monogram bags where it's just it's like thrown over it. In, in my personal opinion, I think I do often think they look great on other people, but I just don't think they particularly suit me. I prefer things to be branded a little bit more subtly. Subtly? Su su subtly? Subtly? You know what I mean. Which is what these are. So they just have a subtle branding on the heel there and just on the um, sock boot. But from the front, you really wouldn't know what brands that they're from, the fact that they're Louis Vuitton or not. I will again just pop some um, clips on screen showing you these um, on and just how lovely they look really. I just think they're so flattering. They cut the ankle off at a really nice point and the fact that they're that kind of sock boot feel, you can wear them bare legged or you can wear them with a pair of leather uh, leggings in and it will just really elongate the legs. So I'm looking forward to sort of next autumn winter trying these bad boys out with some um, leather look leggings. I think that will look really, really nice as well. I love the fact that it's not a huge heel so I, they are wearable. I will be able to walk around in these and move around in these very easily and feel very, very comfortable in them. So I like these an awful lot and I hope that you guys like them too. So those are all the bits that I bought in Vegas. As I said, I didn't buy a huge amount actually. I could have gone absolutely mad and I could have bought a lot more but as I said the kind of real high-end designer bits it's not worth buying out in the States so I did see the Dior saddlebag and I did try on the Dior saddlebag which is what I've wanted to do for a little while and I loved it but it was going to work out to be so much more money and the lady in the store did say that they have got a price increase, price increase coming imminently on the saddlebags but I still just thought, well, even with the price increase, I still think it'd be more expensive to buy it in the States than what it will be in the UK when the prices have gone up. So I was a very good girl and I did not buy anything else other than the boots and of course the dress, but the dress was, as I said, a little bit cheaper anyway. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video and I hope that you like all the bits that I picked up and purchased in Vegas. If you enjoyed it, as always, do give the video a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.